If you're tuning in right now, you happen to be watching the world's truest source for hip hop news, black culture, sports, and of course the best reaction videos on the net. I'm talking about Kofi's Universe. If you haven't already subscribed, it's your chance to hit that button now before I hit this blunt. Bada. YouTube salute. All right, Akon came out and said that America does not care about its history of slavery and inviting black Americans to move away from the past. All right, so if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also cast your vote for Kofi's Hip Hop Hall of Fame. That link is in the description. And check out new interviews with self-titled Kim Bada and Ilmac. You can check for those interviews in the interview playlist. All right, so Akon, he was on Vlad TV yesterday and the topic of slavery came up. And Akon believes America should move past slavery, explaining that it's clear that America does not care about its problematic history as far as slavery is concerned, speaking about reparations and more. Then he talked about in Senegal that there's a there was a different form of slavery and thought of slavery and they don't even think about it. Outside of that, people have lived and moved way beyond the slavery concept. So let me stop right there and break this down. So Akon, you might be speaking, you know, from a Senegalese perspective, but at the same time though, you can't say that because you don't know everybody over there and how they feel, especially in Senegal. And if you go to Ghana right now, especially they have the L, Mina, um, the Elmina, the slave dungeons, they have a monument that shows Cape Coast. It's in Cape Coast that shows when some of the first Africans that was actually captured, it was put in slave dungeons before they were sent to the Western world. So they're not forgetting about slavery. So that's ignorance for you to even say that. All right, let's keep going on. I'm going to keep breaking this down. Then he also said that he invites people to do the same as far in America. I think it's the art of letting the past go and moving towards the future. I think in the U.S., they have this stigma of not letting go the past and blaming the past on every mishap or disappointment. I think as long as you hold on to that past, there's a lot of weight that you carry with you everywhere you go. It's hard to move forward and move past when you got a weight on your back. You just got to let it go. Let me stop again. So do you tell the Jewish community to forget about the Holocaust that they endured in um, Germany? Do you tell Christians to not worry about Jesus and forget about the Passion of Christ movie and other biblical movies <laughs> that was actually made to tell stories about Moses, tell stories about Jesus, etc., etc.? You ain't telling them to forget about that. Are you telling them to forget about the past? No. So how can you say that you turn against your own people? Once again, like I said, I'm always going to call people out. I don't care if you white, black, Hispanic, Asian, Pacific Islander, green, alien, albino, <laughs> Neanderthal. You getting called out on my channel because like I'm like homie the clown from a living color. Kofi don't play that. And you will get chin checked on my channel. So the last thing he has said, America is unlikely to take any steps towards reparations for black Americans. Noting that the country has shown that it's the least of their worries. I will agree right there when it comes to reparations. Now, that's one thing I'm going to agree about. This country don't give a damn about paying black Americans reparations. They're going to try everything they can to not pay black people reparations. And I don't think black people should even get some type of monetary value. I think it should be more like free college tuition for the next 500 to 1,000 years for the generation, for the black generation. It should be free health care forever. What about getting like four or five states in the South? Four states, California, Florida, you know, Georgia's, I mean, you know, stuff like that. What about states like that? Um, allowing to have dual citizenship, debt-free. I don't think money should be 
something that should be actually put on the in the bill or on the table because they're going to give that money right back. And they're going to be like, see, we helped y'all. So fuck that. Now, I believe that if it's some type of reparations, it needs to be through education, um, health care. It needs to be, you know, some type of like um, re police reform, um, you know, things that have to do with like therapy. Um, psychologists need to be, you know, the black psychologists talk to black people about their issues. But we need conscious black people that know what's going on. I do agree with that part because you have countries like in Central America in the Caribbean, CARICOM, they're fighting for their reparations right now. They're taking their former colonizers to the UN. They've been doing that since 2012, 2013. So that's like seven, eight years. So America's been talking about these reparations because they do want their 40 acres in the mule. Fuck. But you know, that shit was just a more a facade. They were just talking about that shit, you know, an illusion. But um, yeah, black people shouldn't get over slavery. We shouldn't get over slavery because this is part of our history. It's not our full history, but it's a fraction of our history. We have so much to learn. And actually, we're trying to decolonize ourselves from the education, the spiritual systems. I mean, black people, they were, they were Christians before they came over here. You know, now Christianity has took, you know, a toll on black people, making them believe in some type of white man in the clouds that's never going to come and save them you know so you have the spiritual indoctrination you have the economic castration when you're dealing with that you know they've always been set behind think about when slavery was abolished you know you had the black reconstruction then you had black codes and jim crow came into an effect you had the red line you know that's why they had you know the civil rights and the black power movement black soldiers was fighting all the wars, they still was being treated like second-class citizens. You know, black soldiers went into World War II as far as um, going into Germany, rescuing so many Jewish people. They didn't get no props for that, no medals for that. You know, they even, it was even 50,000 black Jews in concentration camps. But they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that at all. So my thing is Akon. Sometimes, brother, you need to know your history, research your history, because slavery is not just an um, American experience. You might think it is, but that's when we have this dichotomy between continental Africans and black Americans, because slavery has done damage. When you're talking about European imperialism, when you're talking about how slavery disconnected so many Africans, and they was dispersed throughout the African diaspora. We're talking about people in Brazil, Peru, um, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Haiti, Togo, um, you know, and Tobago. You know, it's so many countries that this has happened to. You know, then, then after when slavery was abolished, like not just in the U.S. in 1865, then you had the Berlin Conference in 1884, 1885, and that's when they had to scramble for Africa. Now, that's when you have all these countries finally had names, when you have Senegal, Ghana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Angola, you know, South Africa, Kenya. Um, is this, you know, the countries can go on and on and on. So those are colonizer names that came in there because there was no such thing as having countries. It was more part of regions on the continent so you can't just say that get over it because we always are being reminded every day when you have the protests when you have black people getting killed you know on in america you know people are dying through not just the police we're talking about other black people killing black people which is a form of white supremacy there's so many things that you just can't say get over it because we're gonna be reminded you know you know, our skin complexion is a badge of honor, but at the same time, it's it comes with a price to pay being in this country. So what you think about Akon, what he said, do you care? Do you don't give a damn? Um, let me know, community. Post your comments below. 
Hulk smash Black Panther the like button, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, you can become a Patreon member. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. You can also share my videos on social media platforms. And just, like I said, leaving comments, feedback, suggestions is a blessing in the skies, man. Thank you for always supporting me. Until next time, Black Power.